Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. All right, you're listening to Scotty Presents. I'm your host, Scott Israel. We got Todd DeFazio is my producer, and today my special guest is Eric Nesby. Nesby, what's up, bro? What's up, Scott? I'm glad you were able to come out. It's a weird day. It's been a weird day. It's How's a, your day been? It's, it's going to be a full moon tonight, Scott. Is it? Is that what's going on? Probably. Because there was this right, right as I was leaving my house like an hour and a half ago, and it usually takes me about 40 minutes to get here. Like a half an hour ago, there was this weird storm, and it knocked out all the uh, the street lights, the red and yellow and green lights on uh, on 22. It's bumper to bumper traffic. Took me twice as long to get here as usual. So we're starting a little bit late. I'm sorry about that. We got Eric Nesby with us. I uh, I know Eric as a stand up comedian, but I've also noticed you doing a lot of crazy stuff on Instagram, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It would, you know, whatever just comes to mind. <clears throat> what? I just feel like doing it. All right, so so there's there's three that really stand out to me, and I want to go I want to go through them one at a time because they're they're hilarious. There's one where, and you're gonna have to explain how you get away with this stuff because you're not doing anything really bad, but I don't under, I don't understand how you do it. So you you're you're in a sneaker store store you're in a sneaker store, and you get into a shoe fight. Yeah. <laughs> how does that? How does how? It was great. How how does that happen? Um. I told my friends, I was like, hey, you want to have a shoe war? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, let's go in the store and uh, have him record, and we'll just throw shoes at each other yeah. the whole time. And he was like, bro, no way. We'll get caught. I said, bro, it's going be 10 seconds. <laughs> so we went to finish line. Yeah. And uh, and I said, pretend like uh, I'd invite you. Just, I don't know. I forgot what I told him to say. All right. And... And I was said, he said, oh, what's up, bitch? I'm like, oh, I, oh, so I'm a bitch. And I picked up a shoe, and I threw it at him first, and then it started a big shoe war. It was a two-on-one. <laughs> it's great. It was dope. And then, like, the workers there just watched us. Yeah. All right. Um, another one is, and you don't, you, you don't get, you, did, you help, did you stay and help clean up? No. You just left? Yeah. And nobody, nobody calls the cops? They don't give you a hard time? Um. Not not really, not really. I picked up some of the shoes, but not until I really, really cleaned up. They're like, <laughs> at the arena, we kind of stopped. We kind of yeah. like put the shoes back a little bit and ran. <laughs> That's great. Uh, all right, and, and another one, another one is, I like this one. This one, this one isn't really, isn't really uh, risky. You're just giving out like pastries in oh, public yeah. to, to, to random people. Yeah. Just, uh, just for fun? No, nah, it was uh, me and my buddy. He, we were talking about it, and I seen this video <laughs> where this dude was going around just giving our random stuff. Yeah. And I said, oh, we could do something sweet. <laughs> we could get cupcakes or cookies. Yeah. And my buddy was like, yeah, and we should do like a You Matter challenge. All I right. was like, oh, yeah, that's dope. Wait, what is the You Matter challenge? Which oh, one's that? It's where it's a foundation that we're going to try to start in, in the near future. <laughs> so we're like, nice. Like, if you don't, you always matter to someone. No, like, <laughs> no matter how down you feel, you always matter to someone. So you matter. All right, that's great. Uh, and the the third one, and this is my favorite, so so I, I kept it for last. You walked into like a big department store, man. A what? A department store? Okay. Like Macy's? I don't know. I don't know which one. I think it was Macy's, but it might have been like I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. You know what? A, you know, big department store. They they say all right. So you strip down to your boxers, and this is on Instagram and YouTube, like or, or Facebook at least. Um, and, and and you just got into one of the model beds. I was tired and wanted to take a nap. Uh, it was great. I wanted to take a nap. Uh, I really, I really, I thought it was like, and I, I'm watching and I'm just like, oh my God, are they going to, is, is, is Eric going to jail today? And you don't though. You know, my mom texts me all the time. She says, don't go to jail today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would be, Try it would be to. a silly dude. What would you, what would you say to the other inmates? Like, <laughs> 
You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. I was making an Instagram <laughs> video, and now I'm putting here. Do you think about it or, or what? No, nah. nah, not really. <laughs> you just doing it? Yeah, just do it. Whatever comes to mind, bro. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you navigate life in a in, a, in an interesting way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I don't know how you do it. I envy you at a lot of turns, man. Yeah, you, you gotta stay afloat. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So how do you stay afloat, man? Just, just stand, do it. Just stand in your own lane, man. Yeah. You know, just not being with the crowd. Right. Just standing out. Yeah. No, it's 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 great, and uh, I don't know. I think of you as one of one of like the more more charming people that I know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, how do you respond to that, right? I know. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. But but um, I think I think that's that's part of how you're getting away with just being silly, because people you can really piss people off just going out in the world and being silly. I mean, you ever encounter angry people? Uh, I stole this dude. So look, I was in Sheets, right? <laughs> yeah. I went into Sheets. Where? Where were you at Sheets? Like uh, what town? Pleasant Hills. All right, go on. <laughs> and I walk in Sheets in my underwear, <laughs> and I seen this dude. I seen this dude, right? Yeah. I said, I told my friends, watch this. Yeah. And I took his food and I ran. <laughs> and he chased me all the way up to like up there to the parking lot. Really? And he was pissed, just swinging and swinging. How, how far? How far was it? Like on on a football field? What from from uh from the uh, center line? How far are you go? We went about like 40, 50 yards. All right, right. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good run, man. I don't know. It was funny. So <laughs> that was great. So what? What happened? But, but then I told him I was like, "Look, man, I was just, I'm, I'm shooting a video, man. Relax, man. Relax. I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing." And he's like, "Dude, what the fuck?" I said, "Bro, I'm just relax, man. Just playing." No, was, was it? Was it a young guy? Is it an old guy? Like, uh, what kind of guy are you messing young with? Young guy. Yeah. 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 He wasn't playing by the sheets. <laughs> I bet not. He was probably hungry. So he, uh, after after like fifty yards, he turned around and gave him his food back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He got over it. Yeah, he got over it. See, that's what I'm saying. You're 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 a, char- you're a charming guy, man. Hey, too, like man. not everybody can pull that off. And there's some guys that in that instance, boom, they get blasted in the face. Yeah, I, it's a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> How is it a curse? I can see the blessing. Uh, <laughs> because one day, what if I do get caught and the charm doesn't work? Then, <laughs> and it's the curse. It's, it's the fifty-fifty. But has that ever happened? Has that ever been the case? Yet. Not yet. Not yet. That's Not what yet. I'm saying. How old are you? You're young. 20. Man. About 20. to be 21 next month. Uh, happy birthday. Thanks, man. What is it? Well, next month is August? August 5th. You, now, is that is that still cancer? You no, Leo. You're Leo. Yeah. It's just like, just like Izzy. Mm-hmm. You guys. I love you guys. Because, uh, you know, when I start running out of steam, I, I, I look at And I do. You know, I'm a, I'm a little bit older and, and I definitely don't have the sun backing me up, you know? So, so I and I look at you guys, and you're like, "Come on, let's go! We're having fun." It's just like I, it gives me a little bit more energy. I like you it. You want to know something? I have an old man personality. Yeah, I can see that. I think, I think, I think, I think you do you do the old guy pretty good. Like my mom tells me, I'm too old to be. I'm too old to be this young, <laughs> or too young to be this old. To <laughs> act this old. That's what she said. Yeah. And like I don't know, cause I, I just relax. I don't do what normal teenagers or twenty year olds do. I don't know. I mean, you 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 make your own your own risky, reckless decisions. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's the important part of youth because you know, you might not get away with it in ten or fifteen years. No, right? hell no, hell but no. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch, and I'm always I'm always uh, hoping that 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 they don't that, they, that the Huska doesn't come and get you. It'll be all right. They gotta catch me. And get me. <laughs> all right, this is a good place for a break. What do you think, Era uh, Todd? Commercial. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck, and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Ready? 
Ready? Yeah. All right, we're back. You're listening to Scotty Presents on IdiotRadio.net. My producer, Todd De- DeFazio. DeFazio. We had that conversation after working together for almost three months. Todd and I had this conversation that I have been mispronouncing his last name for three months. And I was like... What were you saying? DeFazio. I don't know. That sounds right, but it's not. It's DeFazio. That's it. That's it. So uh, uh, we, my special guest today is Eric Nesby. He's a he's an Instagram sensation. What is your Instagram uh, account? King Nesby. King Nesby. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, now I know you as a as a stand up. How how I you've been doing it at least a year. You no, know. two. Uh, no, what did I? Sixteen. Where are you at? Sixteen. So two years. Two yeah. And all right. Years. Two and two and a half years. How did how did how did how did uh, young Eric Nesby get into uh, stand up comedy? What made what made you do it, man? Well, what had happened was, uh, <laughs> so I was in high school, and yeah. I was always like a class clown. That, yeah. You know, that's how every comic's background yeah, that's starts. That's my background. You know, just being a class clown. Sure. But I was, like you said, my charms, my charms is always what got me away. <laughs> <laughs> Kept you, did, no, did you end up in, like, I got in a lot of trouble at school. Oh, yeah. Did you get yeah. in a lot of trouble at school? Oh, yeah, of course. Like, I, I, uh, I got rid of a lot. Detention, in yep. school suspension. Yep. All right, good. But I had, a, I had such a charming way that they <laughs> weren't that mad, but I had to get disciplined. It was starting to get bad <laughs> like i like oh i forgot what this conversation me and one of my classmates were having right yeah. and i told and it was about sex and i said you gotta yeah. hit it like this and i started humping <laughs> the desk <laughs> and my teacher as like she was pissed and she told me to go to the office and yeah. my principal he has a bald head okay and i told her i was like yeah uh, on my way down there tell principal woods i want to lick his bald head and she really <laughs> oh that's and she called him and told him that and, I, <laughs> and when i got to his office he's like you she told to lick him. he's like you want to lick my bald head <laughs> i was like oh man she's weird as hell she <laughs> lied i said that and then did, uh did you get away with it who'd they believe no, yeah yeah all right, I yeah got, you I did yeah all right, all right all right that's wow so then from there uh <laughs> just being a class clown and then like doing instagram stuff yeah and then one day, somebody, I had a friend, one of my best friends was like, bro, why so don't wait, you try so this? So were you like 19? No, I'm 18? 20. No, when you oh, first when I started, went 18, yeah, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. That's awesome, man. That's, that's yeah, great. I, I think I just graduated. Do you remember, do you remember what open mic you went to first? Uh, the improv. You went to the improv? Yeah. You're like, I'm going straight to the improv, man. My mom and my dad, they both knew T. Rowe. Oh, all right. Well, that's great. And, that's uh, great. And he got me on. It's, it's beautiful, man. How did, how did, how did it go? Well, um, for the first well, we had a five-minute set, right? Yeah, that's but, a lot for your first time. So. But I only did like two and a half, three minutes maybe. Yeah. And then after that, I just laughed. And then I started <laughs> making up shit that I thought, I thought was going to be funny, but yeah. it wasn't funny. Yeah. And then I laughed at myself some more. And then I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to leave now. <laughs> it was dope. Yeah. But you came back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I, worth I it. Thought, something something happened in that two and a half minutes. It was worth it. I thought I was bad, but T. Rope <laughs> said, you know, for somebody, some people's first time is terrible. At least you yeah. didn't get booed off the stage. You had some jokes that were funny. There you go. Why not come back? Keep doing it. And I've, ever since then, he told me to keep doing it. I was like, you know what? Yeah. A year later, I was like, it's not, it's not that bad. Right? It's, it's fun. You, 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 got, you, got, you got some solid, some solid uh, lines for him, for sure. I saw you the other night. It was funny. So uh, more about comedy. So 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 after after that, you you've been you've been doing a lot at the, at the improv with T. Rob. I see every once in a while at Hambones. Uh, what do you you know? What do, what do you, what's up? What's your goals like? Where are you going? You, what's your new material? How, what inspires you? How do you how do you, how do you get those those jokes down on the paper? <sighs> um, just being out, yeah. being out, even like uh. No, morely just like my life situation, like my life and how I get, like how things occur. Yeah. Like, so my girlfriend's white, right? Okay. And just sitting around them, I just. Is this I, the same girlfriend since yeah, when I met you? Yeah. All yeah. right, all right, all right, cool. And just sitting around her family. I, mm-hmm. I, I just hear shit and they do shit. It's funny as hell. Then I com- compare it to my, <laughs> yeah. to my life, you know, as a black child. You yeah. Know? Yeah, sure. There's a lot of shit that that we do different, but uh, like, like what? What was 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 the top three big differences that stick out to you? And you're like, wow, I didn't I didn't see that coming. My girlfriend's people is the more raw. They oh. they're raw. Like they'll say anything. Oh, all right. They'll say anything that comes to mind, and it's it's like, whoa. Yeah, you guys don't do that. No, we're, no. We're, we we lay back. <laughs> I love them though. I love yeah. them to death. Love yeah. them to death, but. All right, um, my people. Uh, 
me and her cousin actually formed, formed like a relationship to where she's like my second mom. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's my, it's my, it's like it's, it's like my best friend. So. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Um, do you have you have another observation between the two? All right, you're gonna leave it that. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, all right, so so I would say that one of our you and my biggest common grounds is. Are, are you are you comfortable with it? I mean, we're we're a couple of we're a couple of old school stoners, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it comes out in my comedy. It comes out in your comedy. Uh, how how you like? All right, I was watching Dave Chappelle, one of his new specials, and Did he. You see, were, uh, were there two or three? Oh, I saw. I've seen. I watch all of them. Okay. I, I'm, yeah, I I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan. If it's on Netflix, it's Dave. I'm watching it. I I just I just ran through uh um the new season of Comedians and Cars, and he was on it. And uh, one of his top writers was on it, and it was, it was neat. What it, my, my bad to cut you off, but one of my first comics <laughs> no, I ever watched was Dave Chappelle. Yeah. And ever since then, I, was, I told my mom, no lie, the three things I wanted to be in life was a firefighter, uh-huh. a porn star, and a comedian. <laughs> now, have you put out a fire? No. All right. Have you had sex in front of a camera? Uh, I'm not gonna say that on camera. I'm not gonna say that on a. All right. See so yes. So all right. So you just have to put out a fire, and 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 you you gotta then you'll have to come up with with a new bucket list. You I mean, you're you're not even 21. Your bucket list is almost complete. It's gotta wait, how how famous before you check off that comedian box? Like what what level? All right. I don't even know. That's a, that's all right. What I was gonna what I was gonna say is I was watching one of Dave Chappelle's specials, and he said he caught his son writing poetry. And then he went through his drawers at his house, and he found his he found his weed, and he was like, "Oh, well, this is where the creativity is coming from." Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, I mean, how 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 do you think it plays on your creative process? See, it plays a good bit, but the thing is, I get lazy and I don't want to write it. And then, <laughs> then I'll forget what I said when I'm sober. I'm like, man, fuck, what I said when I was high. <laughs> this shit sound funny, and then I gotta I gotta try to remember. Yeah. And. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I like to go and do open mics kind of high. Like, yeah. Not too blessed, but just like, <laughs> regular. Like I'm stoned, you know, yeah. I'm just relaxed. Yeah, that's good. And I, I like just to free, sometimes freestyle, uh, write down a topic that I'm, I'm thinking about, and yeah. I'm going to see where I could go with it. So more of like freestyling instead of like, that's my thing, I'm trying to <coughs> be my thing. That's awesome. Because I, like, I like the on stage writing. <laughs> Did you ever consider like voice recording for when you're when you're too uh too lazy to, to write it down? Uh no. Is it ever no? I I try to voice record stuff, but then I never I never I'll listen it. to it. I'll for, exactly. I won't listen to it. I won't. Yeah. I'll, I'll forget. And like I I've 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 had some accidental really good sets lately that I wish I would have recorded. Oh, bro, who you telling? Yeah, right. You know, so I'm I'm trying to get in into the habit of of recording. What do you What do you think? You trying to you trying to do that at least for when you're on stage? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially like if you know you're gonna try a new set, right? Definitely. Or even just progressing the new set because uh, I get my my set. I'll, I'll start something new on Monday and it'll be terrible on Monday, but by Thursday it's not bad. No, oh, yeah, right, you know? right, right. It gets yeah. ugly before it gets beautiful. Oh, you know? for for sure, for sure. Um. So what are you, are you are you are you doing improv? Yeah, you oh, are. Wait, 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 wait. Which improv? No, 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 no. Improv acting like. I want to, to be honest, because I, yeah. I I heard that helps out a lot with uh, being more comfortable on stage. Yeah. More quick to come up with more things, better. Right on. Uh, so I kind of do want to try to get into that. Right, and just a different social group. Yeah. Yeah, because I was uh, I was a. Uh, I don't know. What did you do on the Fourth of July? That wasn't too long ago. What did I do on the Fourth of July? Yeah, did you see the fireworks? I, I don't know. I think I just got ice cream, to be honest. <laughs> to get ice cream. Yeah, I was. I had pages for the first for the first time. No, second time, second time, second time. All right. Pa- what was it? Pages on Southside. Oh, all um, right. I don't. I don't know that. Pl- oh spot. man, it's fire. Is it? Yeah, it's fire. What'd you get? I just got a regular caramel milkshake. I just. I got to put my foot in the water first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. Hell, oh hell yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Favorite. What, what kind of what was was a. Uh, you got a favorite strain, dude? This is a question I've never asked anybody on the show before yet. A favorite strain. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, I know you're a connoisseur. Don't pretend like you're not nah. 20 years old. You know what's up. Come on. Uh, Tell it to me. It was, it's in Colorado. Well, at one of the dispensaries in, in Colorado that I bought, 
Yeah. You know, it's a strawberry banana, no lie, I swear to God. Really? I rolled it, it smelt fruity. And what is you, it, what, was it fat fruity? Like, what, do you know the name of it? Do you know the, the like, strawberry the, banana? The strawberry banana, that's what yeah. they called it. And it had, like, these orange flared hairs, <laughs> and, it, and it smelt just like fruity pebbles. Yeah. And then I smoked it in a joint, and I was just so happy, like, and I was like, <laughs> this smells and tastes so good. But uh, I would say that and gelato. Gelato? Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I mean, there's some amazing stuff out there now, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you uh, you you get down with the pens, the, the cartridge pens. No, no, I'm uh, no, I don't. I'm a flower, uh, okay, flower yeah. power kind of guy. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, I, 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 I've been dabbling with the wax, but I gotta get a pen and like I, sh- like a lot of it, a lot of stuff like the rigs, like the the way they the way they do it with like it's like it's too much like crack. Mm-hmm. Like I just. I just, I just, I just can't get down with that. But in the pen, yeah, sure, maybe. But I'm cheap, so yeah, me too. It's gonna take a minute before I buy the pen. Yeah, they're they're decided to. Is this the Beach Boys? I think it's the Beach yeah. Boys. They're they're blasting the Beach Boys. It's uh, it's not picking up too much on the mic, so this is annoying to us. All right. Uh oh. How was your trip to... You went to Colorado, what, maybe like six months ago? Yeah, in December. All right, can you tell us about that? Because you told me before, uh, and it was great. It was, it was fucking amazing. All right, so take two. I know, I'm, I'm going back this year, too. I loved it. Um, I, spread, I, I like the comedy scene, too. Everybody's real genuine. Uh, they're, real help, they're real helpful. And they'll tell you a couple of things, and they're, they're, they're nice people out there, man. Well, yeah, but I mean... It, how, oh, oh, tell us a story. Okay. All right, so... I'm gonna tell you from when I landed yeah. to when I left. Yes, please. Uh, so when I landed, when I got the rental car and all that, I dropped the shit off the hotel, showered and changed. First yeah. thing I told my girlfriend, let's find the nearest dispensary. Yeah. We found the green solution. We spent about $120. Now, how far was that from your hotel? Ten minutes. That's beautiful, bro. It was it was great. We walked in. <laughs> what was it like? Uh, all right, so imagine walking into heaven. Yeah. I gave the lady my ID. <laughs> gave the lady my ID. She was like, and you just have to be 18. Like that's. 20, Yep. Well, 21, I had my cousin's ID. All right, all right. So you had your cousin's ID. This is beautiful. I I, I love it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm down for shenanigans. I know Nesby to be an upstanding citizen, so what if he, he responsibly tokes a little bit? All right, so, so go on. So so uh, it's like his name is Mr. Brooks. Yeah. She's like, all right, Mr. Brooks, follow us to the back. <laughs> and my eyes lit up. You open up the door, and you just smell all this beautiful <laughs> flower. They call it flower. They don't yeah. call it weed. Yeah, right. And right. the lady was like, did you come to buy some uh, some plants? I'm like, no, Miss Kana, get out. I don't want to fucking plant a garden. Get out. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. We call it uh, we call it plants, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Brooks. I'm like, oh. <laughs> they showed me all types of different flavors, man. It was just insane. Yeah. And I bought an eighth, an eighth of like eight different flavors. Yeah. And then we. I and they, they let you like mix and match for that for that one Yep, that's that, great. I said I want this, 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 and eggs. <laughs> I bought it, and then uh, I bought a couple edibles. She told me to eat, don't eat the whole. <laughs> they, they Be were, careful with pieces. the edibles, right? Yeah, and I decided to have like four or five. Yeah, and I and I was I was stunned. <laughs> that was later on in the night, and then after yeah. that, we smoked and we went to um, Hooters. Never had Hooters until I went to. Oh, Denver. All right, did and you was was it? I think Hooters is one of those places. Like, if I take my, if I take a woman with me, it's it's weird. awkward. It's awkward, yeah, right? I, I, I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't, I mean, I knew it was like that, but I didn't yeah. think it was like like the ladies was hitting on you the whole time. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's super my awkward, friends, right? I'd have brought my friends. I could have been a wingman, but it's it's just awkward. Well, it's you, almost like going to a strip club with your girlfriend, right? It was just food there. It was just chicken. <laughs> and <laughs> and they have decent food sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the time, right? Like, Hooters, all right, whatever. Um. And then that was that. That was the night. Hooters, and then I got blessed and fell asleep. And I ordered Domino's, and I forgot to order Domino's. <laughs> and I forgot to pay for, pay for it on a card and everything. Woke up the next day, Domino's was sitting at my door. I'm like, oh shit, the Domino's fairy loves me. That's great. Uh, um, then the second night, then we just we just hang, we just hung out. We went and got a break, a wake and bake breakfast. All right, what is what what is a wake and bake? Oh, just like wake, wake and bake. Like wait, wake. is that what you called it or what they called it? That's what they call it. That's what they call it. Well, it's like we call it, and with it, it's, it's it's a wake and bake. Wake up, you smoke, you eat breakfast. There. Well, right. That's what it is. Right. It, but I, that's they, they yeah. call it that. Yeah. Like that's great. I mean, yeah. that's great marketing. Like I, I wish I wish we had something like that in Pittsburgh. Like uh, you know, just just wake up and come out. And I would say Colorado is like one of those places you have to just go to before you die. It's just a, it's just a scene, it's just the scenery. Wow. It's a great place. The environment. Like, now, I, were to, you in Denver or Brackenridge or where were I you? I was at? in Denver. Fort in Collins. Denver. All right. Yeah. Oh, Fort Collins is beautiful. Yeah. yeah oh, I've been man. out there before. The mountains was about an hour out. 
out. We went shit. We went to yeah. the mountains. It was dope. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, color. Yeah, the Rockies are amazing. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. So all right. So after the wake and bake breakfast. That was we we saw we saw the mountains. All right. Oh okay. Uh, <laughs> and then we went back and I think fell fell asleep. We just chilled for the night. Yeah. Uh, ordered food. Went, oh no, we went out. We went. To, we had this place. It's called uh, Big Baby's Burgers or some some Big Baby Burger or some shit like that. Okay. Yeah. It was fucking, the burgers was great. <laughs> it, it was, was great. And then we went back and we decided to go out to the bar just to hang out, just to see what the seniors like. It was yeah. nice. It was a nice little club they had. People were smoking in there, yeah. drinking, you know, all that cool yeah. shit. But did you know you're not allowed to smoke in public? It's just like a low thing. Like, yeah. I, like I smoked down hotel, cops didn't care. Right. Like, you just can't be out in public with it, I guess. Did, now, do they have spots? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, so you just yeah. have to, you know, go home or grab a spot and yeah, right. you relax. It's like drinking. Like, they yeah. don't, just don't want people being crazy in public. Exactly, exactly. That's cool. Uh, then, I think the day after that, the third day, we uh, we went to Voodoo Donuts. Voodoo? I I saw that on cable. Wait no! What did what did you have? They they've got they've got like really. Uh, what, what the fuck did I get? I think I got the. Uh, <coughs> it was it was a cereal. All right. It was a type of cereal on a donut. I think it was the Oreo one. Oreo, something. It was Oreos and fruit frosted and whatever. Oreo donut. Let's just yeah. call it that. It was great. It though. was fucking great. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Did it? Did it have like a theme on it? Isn't Voodoo one of those ones yeah, where like, with they a theme. like? Yeah, yeah. The, the, it was just a mountain of just or- crushed up Oreos. It yeah. was great. All right. <laughs> Sounds uh, awesome. And then, oh, then this is where I fell in love. Oh. So we're walking past Voodoo Donuts. Yeah. And I'm looking. I'm like, babe, this looks like a dispensary. It is. Let's hit it. Let's go see what it is. It's one of them, like, low corner ones. Yeah. What I noticed is the low corner ones, like, yeah. they're, they have the best stuff. Oh, that's, all that's right. That's where I fell in love with the, uh, <laughs> with, with the strawberry banana. That's, oh, all right. I yeah. ended up buying. Uh, I bought, bought an aphid then. went back and bought another aphid. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was great. It was great. Bro, we spent... It was, uh, it was, it was, it was disgusting. <laughs> Spent a lot of money just on weed. It was disgusting, <laughs> but it was worth it. It was well worth it. That's yeah. kind of what I went out there for, you know. Yeah, you were, you were, you were going on a weed tour. It was yeah, like yeah. a stoner going Look. to Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, man. for sure, bro. Uh, fucking, there was a 420 tour, yeah. and I never, and I didn't know until the last day. Right. Well, I mean, do, do you know? Do you know how lucky and fortunate your generation of Americans is? Because when I was your age, we had to go to Amsterdam, man, or Jamaica. And Jamaica is not what Amsterdam is. Amsterdam's comparable to what you're talking about in Colorado. Jamaica, they just hand you a bag of uh, a midis at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man. it's still fun because they got hell, beaches, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Um, her cousin was up there, so we saw her cousin hung out. Um, and then that night, I had um, there I had a show I got put on. Yeah. Now. You, so I'm you, not. Who who did you know out there? They put you on a show. To be honest, so you know, how Pittsburgh has that little group of what it should, what uh, the piss the open mic. Yeah. So it was like that, but it was All a right. showcase. Uh, they're like, oh, um, we we could put you on a guest spot. That's and awesome. Because you were an out of town. That was I end up, it. I end up joining this group, in the Denver, the Denver comedy group or whatever. All right. And uh, it was at a Hamburger Mary's, and you know what a Hamburger Mary's is? No. It's a gay restaurant. Oh, okay. Now, I have no problem with gay people at all. Not at all. Right. Not, not homophobic, none of that. But yeah. I was prepared to hear some of the stuff that I heard. Like what? Now, the host, he looked like like, just like a regular dude, you know, just like Todd. Just yeah. a regular man. Yeah, yeah. And he got up on stage in his mouth. He needed a piece of Orbit gum. Like, that shit needed clean. That shit was- <laughs> <laughs> the first thing he said was... uh. So, yeah, you know what I like about a straight man uh, is fucking him. I was like... Oh, Mm. Well, that's a that's a way to open a show. Yeah, and then he was like, uh, then he was like, another part about fucking or giving head, giving getting head from a straight man uh. is looking to his eyes and and his and the disappointment in his face because <laughs> his grandfather was watching him. Oh uh, it Jesus, was, it was, was right. raw, man. And yeah. I got up on stage. I'm <clears> like, yeah, um, I'm not gay. My girlfriend's back there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so but they they laughed at my set. They 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 liked it. That's I good. wasn't offensive. But. Yeah. Yeah. Just wasn't prepared to hear that. Right, right. You didn't know? Did you not? You I, didn't know where you were walking into? Because I don't no, know. No, I, I heard. I, I I googled it and it said yeah. it made Food Network. I was like, okay, so this place is kind of like lit. All right. But it was a it was a gay bar. Yeah, yeah. Man. Hey, it happens. You had a good night. Fuck it, hell yeah. The night night was cool as hell. Cool. Um, I think what else? And I think we just went at home after that, and uh, then the next day we went to some uh, amusement park. It was shitty. Yeah. We went to the zoo. It was shitty. Really, uh, the aquarium. The aquarium was kind of cool. They All got right. they got a nice aquarium out there. Okay, 
So get stoned and see the fishes if you're in Denver. Yeah. Right, don't right. don't bother with the zoo the near amusement park. You'll do better in Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 all right. yeah, yeah. The same with D.C. Like their zoo was kind of shitty too. Yeah, now when did you go to D.C.? Like two weeks ago. All right. And I I've I've heard from other people that they've got a pretty uh, interesting uh, 420 scene. So what was what was your experience out there? Now listen to this. So yeah. uh, so in D.C. <laughs> You're allowed to have weed and smoke weed, yeah. but you can't buy nor sell weed. So where does it come from, the magic uh, weed yeah. fairy? Look, I was, I, got, I was at my hotel, and I asked the bartender, I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I brought my own weed, but I just yeah. wanted to know, because I heard it's, it's recreational down here. You can walk in dispensaries. Right. So what the dude told me is they have little pop-up shops. Like, you go yeah. to someone's home or, like, a building like this where they do low stuff at. Like, they have a dispensary up top or they're down bottom, but, but the feds come kick it in, and then they shut, shut all that shit down. Really? Yeah, bro. I thought... I th- all right. Yeah. Like, I Google a so whole bunch of places. So, they're basically just decriminalized. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about weed out there. I was smoking yeah. weed on the street. They didn't give a fuck. Really? Yeah, but I wanted some dispensary weed. And then what they say, the prices are from, like, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know what I heard about D.C. is that you got to go to their festivals. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like, that's that's where it's at. The that's, food that, trucks. Yeah. The food trucks was Wait, lit. The food trucks. And, and I heard that they that's 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 a place where you, you can legally pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Is hey, it the festival? I've seen Jennifer Lopez in uh, D.C. Nuh-uh. Bro, Nuh-uh. swear to God. Swear really? To God, swear to God. Was I, she with Jay-Z? I took a picture. J-Lo? Uh, J-Lo. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you, you I got it. You no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I get my people mixed up. Yeah, J Lo, bro, she was fucking fire. Yeah. I wanted, I, I just took a picture of her. I wanted to say something, but her, yeah. her, Lata- her uh, Italian security guards were around her. So yeah, I want no parts of that. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it's always good. To, I just wanna, I like to see the stars when when I was in New York. I used to, I used to see them every once in a while. It's interesting. It's exciting mm-hmm. for a minute, and then you're like, oh yeah, they're people that want to be left alone. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. All right, this is, a, this is a good spot. You want to hit uh, do the commercial? Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash wheels. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For a free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, Contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? You're listening to Scotty Presents. I'm your host, Scott Israel. We're on IdiotRadio.net. Todd DeFazio is my producer, and I'm here my special guest, is Eric Nesby? What's up, Nesby? What's going on, Scott? What are you? What are you? What are you, what are you doing with your phone? What's, uh, what's, what's up? I was posting a video about what? Uh, uh, how, how, how do I be when someone sparks a cigarette in the car? All right. So how do you be when somebody sparks a cigarette in the car? Just put my head out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking right. cigarettes stink. Yeah, they do. They're the worst. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll kill you too. Oh fuck yeah. Right. You don't smoke, do you? Cigarettes? No, not at all. They yeah, never did. Nah. Smart kid. I mean, I, I hated once, but it was gross. I was like, "Yeah, fuck this." Yeah. Right on. So, uh, music. Let's talk. Let's let's talk some music. What's was what, what's Eric Nesby think about music, man? Today, coming out. What's the new stuff that you like? I like Ugly God. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why? What's 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 the draw for you? He's just he's just a cool dude. <laughs> he's a funny. He's a funny dude. Right on. Uh, I like the Migos. Yeah, Migos, good. Uh, I like Drake. I like Drake's new album. I like Wiz Khalifa's new album. What do you think Kanye's new album? I oh, like Yikes. I love it. You love it. I love it. You love I love it? everything Kanye does. Yeah. Like I, I, I was upset that Kanye. You know what? Well, they're not upset because that, that's what he do yeah. before he drops an album. Before he dropped uh, the Life of Pablo, him and Sway were going at it. Yeah. He just does something crazy before he drops an yeah, album. Exactly. Like he wants people to know that he's still relevant to the world. Yeah. Yeah. So he says crazy shit, does crazy things. <laughs> but Kanye's my guy. 
Word. I like Kanye a lot. Cool. Um, I don't know. If you were a superhero, what superhero would you be? Deadpool. Deadpool? Yeah. That's a, that's a fun one. Why? It's like the sarcasm. Yeah, and just who he is, like his personality. He's like, he is a <laughs> cool-ass superhero. Like, he, he doesn't take shit serious. Yeah. And, like, that, I watched the second movie, like, at least 100 times already. Really? I love it. What, did you buy a copy? No, I just watched it online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Watched it online for free. A bootleg. Uh, see, I don't even know. I'm not even, I'm not even technologically savvy enough to figure that out. I get, I, get, I, get, I get frustrated halfway through and just go back to watching something horrible. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big fan of superhero, Scott? Oh, I, I, they're the only action movies I can still watch. Um, yeah, I was talking to a friend about this earlier today. Like, I just can't, I can't go back and watch like the Schwarzenegger movies or, or Vin Diesel or, or The Rock or anything that they're doing now. The only action movie because I'm, I'm a, I'm a writer. I need, I need the storyline to be good. So you, I can. You, you published a book. Tell me about your book. Oh, like three books. Yeah. Well, published two. I'm sitting on one because I would I would love to to publish it with like a publisher who pays me money. Uh-huh. I think that'd be great. But uh, yeah, I lo- I mean, I like Superman's haircut. Uh, I like I like Batman's darkness and 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 both him and and Iron Man's money. Right, right. Because w- it would just be fun. Like that's a superpower in and of itself. Just be rich and have fun with it. You know. Right. Make a contribution or something. The society, uh, Spider Man. He was the first one that I did. Liked. You see the new Spider Man, the Homecoming one? I have. I have not been to the theater this year. I want to. See, it's just uh, my life is a mess. I don't blame you. Yeah, I, it's hard. Well, online movies is like my way to go because I'm just too yeah. lazy to come out the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but once I what going out, I gotta spend money. Like fuck that. Right? Sit down and watch for free. Dude, it's a lot of money. It's like I talked to my, my grandmother about the movies, and, you know, in the 30s, it was like a nickel yeah. to go to the movie theater. Gas now was it's also like, a nickel back in the day, too. Right. Gas was nothing. You you could you could, you'd get candy for, like, a penny, yeah. you know? I mean, they're killing me now. It's, it, it, for me to go to the movie theaters by myself, it costs almost $20. I mean, it's re- so, that, wait, then I'm going to take a girl and pay for her? It's 40 bucks. Nah, cause then we're getting popcorn. Add another twelve, you know. Damn, <laughs> they really get and then, you. And then and they you really gotta, get you. You gotta get a drink, and then you gotta refill the drink, and then refills are like six bucks. Yeah. And, and then as you're you're like fuming with getting getting highway robbed, you know, yeah, I gotta act cool in front of the girl. I just don't know if I can do it anymore. I just I, I'm getting too old where I can't front a- a- at all. Like it's you just, just can't fake. I, the I, yeah, I can't I can't fake it. I can't fake like I'm okay with everything. I the world is. Is deeply flawed and it needs to start changing. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Oh, you're making me talk too much, man. Was a uh, was uh, I don't know. Sports, man. Sports, me. I like the Patriots. Patriots. Oh, why? Oh, fuck yeah! What are you, what are you yeah. doing? You can't come on my show and, and, and like the Patriots. Ah, no. Why do you like the Patriots? Tom, Wait, Tom Brady's the greatest where, quarterback where, ever to play. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. Because because of, of Tom Brady. Yeah. I like Tom Brady. I, I like how I just like how he is. He's, yeah. He's a he's a fucking monster. <laughs> the Patriots are just do- a dominant team. Yeah. No, yeah. they they are. They are. I mean, so are the Steelers. So the Steelers win more than they lose usually. Sometimes. Most years. Yeah. yeah. No. Mm-hmm. No. It's not into it. No. You, you don't you don't care that the Patriots are always cheating. Yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> You didn't think I'd call it out? I mean, yeah, I knew that That's what <laughs> Patriots are older cheaters But, I mean <laughs> Do what you gotta do, you huh? Can't stop em. <laughs> you can't stop them Can't stop them You can't beat them, join them <laughs> You should start cheating too If you wanna win Right And then, Yeah, but then it just turns into a mess No, alright nah. That's fair Well, Golden State has Five all stars on, on just their first lineup was five all stars. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> nobody, nobody calls them out. <laughs> nah. What you you're you you basketball guy, Scott? No, and I'll tell you why. why? And it's it's because I'm very short. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm coordinated, and I played a lot of sports when I was a kid. But like basketball was the one that really made me feel like I was not athletic, and I did not. I, I'm just not good at it. 
So I don't really watch sports. I'm not. A, I'm not a sports guy. My dad didn't take me to sports games. I, I have no fond connection to. I like to play them when I was a kid. Soccer, baseball, football, hockey. Right. Right. I just can't. I just. I'm not a shooter, and I cannot dunk. I can play defense, but everybody just gets annoyed with me because I don't really understand what's going on. <laughs> Ask Izzy. Go. Ask Izzy. I played some ball, yeah. some, some ball with Izzy did, last did, summer. Didn't did you beat him before? But no. I, know, I beat Izzy at billiards before, but he's beat me at billiards too. Like We can play pool together. Uh, pretty much any sport, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the basket. Who's your basketball team? You the Lakers guy? I'm not a, re- you know I, a big I basketball it. guy. I watch it. I don't care for it, dude. All right. Do you think it's a shame that Pittsburgh doesn't have a basketball team? I think it's kind of a shame. And yeah, not yeah, that I would bit. support it, but <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't. I mean, we're a we're a, we're a, a hockey stiller or hockey stiller fan. You know, I feel football. I feel that there's enough basketball fans in Pittsburgh to warrant a basketball team, and I think it's a shame that we don't have one. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I have one in my head I would start called the Pittsburgh Kingpins. And it would just be like some big pimping dude would be the mascot. Mm-hmm. I just like the idea. Just, just, just a big dope boy. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's 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 the mascot. Like we're just like you. We we're just cool out here in Pittsburgh. Like Pittsburgh's a dope place. You know? Right. Yeah. Scott, what, what's your favorite strain of weed? I never asked you that. Oh yeah. I mean, Jesus, that's like. <sighs> I smoked this blueberry out in Arizona back in. Like 2008, the I smoked it and the walls breathed. That was neat, but I also I I know and that was I think I was a half indigo. I like uh the chocolope. The chocolope. Yeah, it's a chocolate sativa. It's a yeah. Yeah, it's heady and it tastes good. It's a little minty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. That's fun. That's my favorite right now. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Right. Um. I don't know. Where, 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 uh, family. Who are you? The only funny person in your family? No, no. There's a lot of funny people in my family. All right. Well, let's get into it. Uh, my mom's a goof troop. What does that mean? How is how is your mom goofy? Yeah, she's, 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 she a prankster? She a jokester? She she's sarcastic? What's going on? She's just she's goofy. Just goofy. Just goofy is all all hell. All right. I mean, can you give us one example? Uh, how mom's goofy? Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. I'm trying to think of one. I'm trying to think of one simple one. All right. Okay. So she. So it's okay for her to bite to eat other people's meals. But <laughs> it's not okay for other people to eat off her meal. Oh, all right. Like the other day, she bit in my sister's sandwich. Yeah. And and my sister was pissed. So so she did it back to her all four right. hours later, and she snapped. Really? This is like no hypocrite. <laughs> and that but that's funny to the family? Yeah, it's funny to us because we get to pick on her for it. Yeah. <laughs> um my cousin, my my first cousin. Yeah. He's he's just funny just like telling stories. Yeah. He's uh I love a good storyteller. Yeah, I mean he's he's just funny, especially when we just sit around and we you know <laughs> Yeah. He's, he's he's a funny dude. My uncle my uncle's funny. My dad my dad has a sense of humor that yeah. Only certain people can relate to. Uh, all right, like how, my dad like, is sarcastic. Yeah, uh, he's never serious. Yeah, and I think that's where I I get that a lot of that from not being serious. Yeah, uh, just real laid back, just real laid back, funny dude. Yeah, I, my great uncle was actually a comic back in the day. Really? Yeah, here in Pittsburgh or yeah, like, yeah, yeah all right. he was in uh in, in uh. Rankin, Rankin. It, yeah, all right. Does he ever tell you any stories about what it was like? Uh, what 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 decade was it when he was doing, like the the eighties, sixties, sixties, seventies, eighties? All right, wow. He, any he, does he tell you any good stories from that? Oh, ah, shit. Not not one recently. It's been a while since I've seen him. Yeah. But uh, he told me that he got he got booed he, yeah. and he never did it again. But then he came uh-huh. back. Yeah, he said he he went to hide. Yeah. He went to go hide in the shell. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And then he came back out, and then I told him that uh, I'm doing comedy, and he was shocked. Yeah. Well, the night that he wasn't shocked, he was surprised. Like, wow, okay, all right. Well, you know, that's that's what's up. You know, somebody else is gonna take the torch. Sure. Well, that's cool. All right. Um, and they they support you in your uh, in in your endeavors. They think it's all right. They don't think you're wasting your time. Or no, no, they they support me. They they, they believe in me. That's awesome. They believe in me. That's awesome, man. 
Um. I don't know. You're a car guy. You got, not really. You got a Mustang. You got a Dodge. You got a Dodge. I thought you had a. I thought you had a Mustang. Right? No. All right. God, don't hype me up like that. Oh, I'm trying, man. You know. I'm gonna get you going. Is it? Is it? Is it? You're a lot of fun to hang out with, for sure. Thanks, Scott. Thanks. Right? I like it. I like the. I like the laid back thing. I do the laid back thing, but uh, secretly I'm a neurotic mess. Mm. Uh, what, but you're secretly you're just laid back through and through, like all the way down to the core. Yeah, like I like <laughs> no secrets, man. I don't know how to say. I got like I don't, I'm. I'm open. Yeah, I'm open. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Um. You got any shows coming up? Um, actually, I do believe so. Um, for July, <coughs> check right here. I have so uh, Peppers and that. There's a uh, Joe Peduto or whoever the dude yeah. is on the news. He he his band is going to perform now. Peppers and that, and the owner wants me to open up for him. That's cool. Wait, so, what part of town is that? Oh, uh, in Braddock. Peppers and that. Okay, Braddock. Uh, you know when? That's July twentieth. But it's, it's still to be determined because he oh, told me right. this a month ago and I haven't talked to him lately. But yeah, I, I, I hit him up. Actually, I actually hit him up yesterday, actually. Yeah, right. I asked about him. Yeah. Uh, Rumfish, the 25th. That's in Bridgeville. You know, um, what, you know what hour? What time it starts? Um, eight or nine, I believe. Eight or nine. And Arcade, the 28th. Yeah. 8 p.m. show. Is that main stage or uh, the, the new, the new uh, was it, what do they call their, their side stage? Their smaller stage. Oh no, I, th- I think it's in the main one. Is it? Yeah, that's awesome. And then stand up or get the stand up or get down arcade the same day, but just at ten o'clock right after that. 8 that's PM great, show. man. Well, how how did, how did you get in with the arcade guys? Did you do it through the improv guys or how? Um, they just asked you. Just just the words might put a word in for me. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. Um, you want to add anything? You want to talk about? Ooh, how about this? You have any weird munchies that you enjoy that that's just like. Like regular people wouldn't necessarily understand. Anything, anything. Ice cream with cereal. Ice cream with cereal. Put like a scoop of vanilla ice cream in with like some uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Is there also milk in it? Yeah. Do you squish the the ice cream down, or you just you you you, you leave it hard in the middle? Kind of chop it up and just, chop it up. You know, mush, move it everywhere. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I like I like the special case. Special cereal. I, oh, all right. I like the yogurt. Yeah, that's a weird munchie of mine. <laughs> uh, trail mix is a weird, weird munchie of mine. No, just the original trail mix, or because I know they have all sorts of crazy flavors. Fuck man. Um, fuck. Oh, oh, that's all right. I we'll go with I the original. One. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's good. I don't know if I think what else. I don't know, but to me, the best munchies. Yeah. Is uh, Lay's potato chips. Lay's potato chips. I think I think that's the best one. No, what a boo! What? <laughs> Todd disagrees, but he don't have a mic, so don't worry about it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. oh. Uh, I I agree. I like I like I like uh, I like the the thin potato chips without the the ridges or anything, and don't dip it, just crunch it. I uh, like it. I, I like, like those I sometimes ones. like to dip yeah. it. Yeah. If I could have a pickle with those, that'd be great. I'm I'm not a big fan of pickles. Yeah, not everybody is. I'm a, I'm a, I like I like. When I smoke, I like to I like to I eat the, eat the pickle, maybe something to dip in it, and drink the pickle juice. It's a weird. When I was a kid, I used to like pickles, but I, I I grew up, I guess. You grew up. You grew out of it. I grew out of you it. You grew I, out. I, of it. I grew up out of it. I don't know. Well, I mean, Pittsburgh is a is a is a pickle town, man. Yeah. You ever have the fried pickles? No, not even. They're great. I don't like All pickles right. no more. You don't like them anymore. But did something happen? Do you have a bad association, or you just one day you were like, eh, not so much? Yeah, yeah. But I like relish on my hot dog. Wow. See, I don't like relish on my hot dogs, but I really? love a pickle. Yeah. I, I like relish on my hot dog and with mustard and onions. That's, <laughs> that to me is a perfect hot dog. Get a ballpark, Frank. Yeah. 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 All right. This is great. Um. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna do ten more minutes, but I'm not sure of what. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think this is where we're gonna do it. It was, it was great having you on, Eric. Scott, thank um, you. Scott. Put, put, put your tights. Huh? Where do we get a hold of you on Instagram? Where do we find you? Uh, King Nesby. All right. Instagram. Facebook. Eric Nesby. Um, any others? Anywhere else? You on Twitter or? 
Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't tweet. I don't have Twitter fingers. Yeah, I. I it's not my medium either. I, yeah. uh, all right, it's it's been great, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, I hope you have fun. Uh, thank you, Scott. I did. I did. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, word. So you're listening to IdiotRadio.net. This is Scotty presents. I'm your host, Scott Israel. My producer, Todd DeFazio. And you've been listening to my interview with the brilliant Eric Nesby. Go see him if you get a chance. He's all over Pittsburgh. Hey, Scotty. Scotty present.